What's up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we're going to be looking at how you can get 400k points for cvc as an end game free to play player so the first thing we're going to do is we'll look at the juicy rewards that we get then we'll talk about strategy preparation and then we'll look at what we're hitting to get all those points and the best way to get as many points as possible so Big shout out to my homies in uh, Zephyr Clan in Ung. We absolutely smashed them, almost double their points. And if we look at Clan Rewards, we're in tier six. So yeah, we're getting loads of good stuff. And then personal rewards. So obviously you're going to be burning loads of energy for this. But if you win, you're going to get 2,400 energy back. So it's definitely worth investing and getting that W. Um, we get four void shards and void shards they're hard to come by so it's definitely great to get these but also void legendary champions are hard to come by and we need them so being able to get the pick up these void shards like every sort of two no every four weeks is huge and yeah the faster we can get those void champions the stronger our account's going to be also get a sacred and again these are hard to come by you can't get them you know i in tournaments and events, I can't remember the last time I saw a sacred up for grabs. They are, you know, they don't do it often. Get some clan points as well. And we get legendary gear, crit damage, which is nice. That's gonna be great for a new car. Pick up a few epic skill tomes as well. And I really like 30 rank charms as well. So that's gonna help us get better gear in the forge. So let's talk about the strategy that we're using. So when you do CVC, if we're doing normal, I only go for like 120K, maybe 200. I'm not pushing it all. All I'm doing is my daily stuff and I'm not putting any resources into it at all. Um, it's so like normal CVC is end game. It's pretty easy to hit 120. You should do that, no problems. And then what we do for personal rewards, we are always hitting 400K. So how it works is personal rewards is based off your personal score for every personal reward CVC. Normal CVC does not count at all. So even if you're gonna lose, you still wanna push for 400 because that means the next CVC, you know, you, you if you do 350, the next one, you're gonna get less rewards. You're not gonna get the same rewards. So you need to push hard every single CVC. And if you're in like a clan that's not in tier six, it doesn't matter. You could be in a clan that's in tier one, but as long as you are getting 400 and you probably got a bit of an advantage there because you can probably swing, you know, the fight into your favor because you're going against a lower clan. If you've got like two whales in your clan and you, and you just get that 400 points in personal rewards, you're probably going to win. So it doesn't matter. Um, so that's that's sort of the strategy that we're using. Then preparation, we are saving as much energy as we can. So all the energy, all the gems that we get from like Doom Tower and daily quests, we are saving them for personal rewards. Um, I'm skipping like tournaments and events that look pretty trash or don't have great rewards. Just skip them, go turtle and save for personal rewards. That's what we're doing. We're saving everything for personal rewards. That's when you wanna go hard that's when we're going to get these great rewards. And you're probably going to use about a thousand to one and a half thousand gems um, for this. And again, obviously you get energy on the day. We've got like sort of three days to sort of get as much in as we can. Um, but yeah, and then energy wise, I don't know. We use a lot, but I'm usually, basically I'm doing it off my gems. So I'd say it's more about the gems that we're using. And we also want to save all resources that we can so ascension um we are only ascending champions during personal rewards um i know you can get points in champion tournaments for ascension but you barely get anything compared to cvc so personal rewards that's when we're ascending our champions books as well so i'll probably use about 10 legendary books per personal rewards and um, this one i only used about five or seven so saved a little bit there but again we're saving our legendary books and we're only booking out champions during personal rewards. Uh, epic books as well. I can burn probably about 30. That will give us a huge chunk of points as well. 
So again, you can see I'm just saving as much as I can for that. Um, I might upgrade a champion as well or upgrade as well just to sneak in a few points if we need to. So that's sort of all the prep work that we're doing. Now let's talk about what we're hitting first. So arena, tag arena is my bread and butter. This is where I'm getting most of my points. To be fair, I am in gold free at the moment. So that is giving me like 7,000 points um, per 10 fights. So that is a huge amount of points. But what we're going to do is obviously the day before um, CVC starts, we save those tag arena tokens. Then the next day, we're going to use the tag arena tokens that we've got, also the ones from that quest. And then we get three more from, I think it's like 15 gems, 40 gems, and then 50 gems. We are investing all the way up to 50 gems. So that's five worth, you know, well, 50 fights that we're going to get from tokens. And, you know, that's a huge amount of points. And we're going to do that for the first two days. On the third day, it's going to be a bit difficult because obviously CVC finishes a bit early. So we'll probably only do like 20 or 30 fights then. But that's going to give us a huge amount of our points. And that's where I'm getting most of my points from. And um, if you're even in silver four or gold one, you're still going to get a lot of points from this. So we are prioritizing tag arena first. That is our go to. Next up on the list is going to be spider. And you can look, we'll just look at sort of what my clan mates are doing as well. And you can see we almost tripled the amount of spider runs they've done. And yeah, spider it's a great place. You know, you get really good gear from it. We're getting banners. We're getting, you know, amulets. We're getting rings. Accessories are great game changers in the game. But also, we're going to get a huge amount of silver. So if you're low on silver, spider's your man. That's where we're going to. And also, you can just farm it very, very quickly. So spider's our first point of where we're going. So we've already, we've already touched on champions. And as you can see, we almost got a million more points from them. Probably some people in my clan did pull shards. I never pull shards during CVC. I'm shaving them for two times. And if there's a really good 10 times, then I'll pull for that. But yeah, as you can see, you know, uh, again, we went a million points over them. And that's probably from Ascension and Books. And I just want to come out and just have a look at Fragment Summon. So obviously, this is another great place to get loads of points, but you can't do it too often. So you can see I've been sitting on these champions for ages. Um, God knows how long they've been in here for. But again, I'll save them for a rainy day. And if we need to, you know, if we're losing a CVC and I need to pull something out of the bag, that's when I'll drop those. Uh, campaign, hardly touched it. You can see they actually almost doubled us on um, Potion Keep. It doesn't matter. Like, Potion Keep does not give a lot of points. And even though there was a two times, like, double the points for it, it didn't really help them out. And it's it's not even spider without double is better than potion keep. Uh, Minotaur, if there's a two times on for it, I will be farming scrolls. Um, and then again, if there's like a two times for dragon or ice golem or finite, prioritize that first, and then we'll do spider. Sand devil and shogun again the same. We're only doing it if there's a two times on, and it is very like unless you're like super end game. <laughs> It's very hard to farm these ones fast, so don't bother. Uh, Iron Twins, Faction Wars, Demon Lord. This is just your everyday stuff, so it doesn't really matter. You're going to be doing it anyway. Um, gear, one thing really, really important, and I think a lot of people forget about this, is glyphs. Glyphs give you a huge amount of points, especially six-star glyphs, and I'm only going to be glyphing out champions during CVC personal rewards. And yeah, Look, at we almost doubled them on that as well. And glyphs, you know, like I said, I think people forget about them and they sleep on them. They give so many points, so don't don't sleep on glyphs. Um, and then I did gear up some champions and I did roll up a little bit of gear as well, so that helped with points. The forge, so you can see we almost tripled the amount of points I had for, with forge forging gear. So let's have a look at my forge quickly. Um, so resilience, I had 300. So we we did um, like 200 gear pieces forged there. Um, I had 700 pieces of perception. So we forged 200 there. And then fatal, I had 100 pieces. So we forged that out. 
And I actually really like this gear set. So I will use um, rank charms and rarity charms. And they are going to almost double the amount of points you get. So again, we're, oh, and we, you know, I love rank charms and rarity charms. They are so good. So hold on to them and you're only going to use them on your best pieces of gear. So, you know, I'd use them on instinct. I use them on righteous. I use them on perception, lethal, guardian set every now and then. Um, yeah. But you're only using that on your best pieces of gear. Um, but yeah, so that's that's another great place to get points. And then miscellaneous, you can see that we almost well almost doubled them on gems, and that's because people are farming spider. So that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. That's all the tricks and tips I've got to help you guys get that 400k points in CVC. If there's anything I've missed or anything that you guys use like to help get those extra points, please let me know in the comments below. And please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.